and mixed martial arts is following suit, producing a lot of high quality fighters. Been doing it for the last 10 years now, so. Absolutely, Texas is where it's at. Not just, not just. At and making their way to the cage. Here we have our next fight of the evening as we have Tade Garcia, Caden Bjork. We're gonna be taking each other on here in our next match of the evening. And I apologize, could not finish my thought a minute ago. Kenneth Thomas came over and gave you a big hug. A Very big wet one, my, my man. <laughs> I was, my goodness. That kind of threw me off for a second there, but congratulations to KT. I love it. And I'll tell you what, I'm excited to see these women's fights. Women can scrap, man, no doubt about it. And she is ready for action. Garcia, five foot five, 19 years of age, the youngest fighter on the card here tonight, Clay. I tell you, youngest fighter on the card, but with more fanfare than anyone, coming out in the boxing road, coming out to the music, coming out to an ovation. I tell you what, we asked for a fun fact from Tate Garcia. He actually said, uh, I ate octopus and graduated high school. I don't know if those two things are correlated, but good for her. <laughs> From Alvin, Texas, making her mixed martial arts debut here tonight. Has a lot of Mexican pride on her side. As you see the finishing touches there for Tede Garcia. And Todd, I gotta tell you, Caden Yurt right here in our face, looking mean, looking ready to go. We didn't mention it earlier, she's been with her trainer for 12 years. This is gonna be a great fight. Caden Slim Bjork, the 21-year-olds, representing Texas Striking Center and War Training Center. She's looking to go to war with Tede Garcia. It's gonna be an awesome matchup between these two ladies. Yeah, I saw a lot of intensity in the eyes of Bjork as she was looking at us just now. Yeah, she leaned down, she got a good look at our booth. She Here you see, like Tede Garcia. Anytime the women fight, it's going to be exciting. Let's hear the official call here. Tede Garcia and Caden Yerke. I this, tell you what, these ahead. women look ready to fight. And this fight is officially underway. And they are coming out strong, Clay. Yeah, no doubt. Yerke already looking to land body kicks early. Man, this place was so crazy loud when Tede Garcia was talking. Promoter Chris Lopez was trying to give me some quick facts on Tede Garcia, saying that she's a highly decorated, accomplished grappler. If I stand corrected, he also promotes her, so this is gonna be a one heck of a matchup. Maybe see a quick display of some grappling skills. And Bjorke already looking to move. My wow. goodness! What a lift for Caden, but Tede, Stays on the mark. 
Transitions to guillotine choke. Can she finish this? Tap, that's and it, that's it. Tede Garcia wins her mixed martial arts debut. Wow. Excellent, excellent job. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. What? What a way to finish that, Clay. I mean, she stuck with it. I actually don't think the submission was there. I think she's dislocated her shoulder. Oh, Hayden wow. Burek has dislocated Take a her shot shoulder. Of that. Possibly during that slam, she yeah. might have injured herself. But, That's the issue we have. But a lot of credit to Garcia for staying composed during that slam. She still took the blunt of that slam and transitioned into the, kept it and kept the uh, guillotine choke. I'm tripping over my words there, sorry. Absolutely. But nonetheless, Tede Garcia with the submission victory. They are trying to pop the shoulder in of Caden Bjerke. Yeah, I tell you, Todd, I have famously bad shoulders in the wrestling business. And I tell you, once it goes out, you are nullified, neutralized. There's not much you can do. But shout out to Tede Garcia, maintaining control, looking like she was on top the entire time. And, and, you know, you keep control of the head, you move around as best you can. It was a big slam that probably knocked it out, but Ooh. at the same time, oh, we got to walk her out of the cage. It Here's, is unfortunate. Here's they able to pull that shoulder back into place. There you see here, we yeah. wish Caden the, the best in recovery with that and hope, hope that she's going to be okay. But right now we're about to get the official decision by Colin Cantrell. Now let's all wish Yeah, it is the fight game. You always hate to see injuries, but it does happen in the fight All game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's close this one out. 39 seconds in the round. And young Tede Garcia wins her mixed martial arts debut, kicks things off for her young career at 1-0. And I'm confident we're going to see a lot more of this young lady in future Elevate Fighting Championships. Promoter oh, yeah. Chris Lopez had a lot of great things to say about this young lady. And victorious here tonight. And Clay, every time I see a dislocated shoulder, I always think back to the martial arts movie Best of the Best with Eric Roberts from the 80s. Have you seen that film? I actually have not. Please go off. Tell me about it. There's a scene where Eric Roberts' shoulder dislocates mid-fight. His partner snaps it back into place, and he finishes and wins the fight. And so, <laughs> But there's a big difference between movies and real life. A dislocated shoulder is going to mess you up. I tell you what, and I, and I do wonder, I do wonder if it was dislocated or if it popped into the joint based on the way they were trying to move it. And I hate to linger on an injury like that, but that is that, I, the way they were trying to pull on it, that was something different. That was it, something different than maybe a dislocated shoulder because it looked like they were trying to maybe pull it out of the socket. I wonder if maybe when she popped up and slammed down, it actually pushed that, that socket joint in, or that ball into the socket joint, if you will. Sure, all of my mixed martial arts fans at home probably popping at home for the best of the best shout out. Clay, your uh, homework assignment is to watch best of the best immediately. I'll do it, but you guys got to bring me back so I can report on it. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see, amigo. And Clay, that, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. Stay with us. We got co main and main event coming up. World Gym in Texas City is your new gym. Group classes, personal training, an indoor basketball court, outdoor workout area, and so much more. Something for everybody to do. You can do it all right here at Texas City. World Gym. At 100,000 square feet, there is nothing quite like the largest World Gym on the planet. World Gym, Texas City.